we all been cheated on. Everybody in here been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person that cheated on us on television. None of us. It's like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's How did that make you feel? She hurt him way more than he hurt me, okay? <laughs> He was very, very angry. By the way, he also went after Jada. He said, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith, she suggested that I shouldn't host the Oscars in 2016 because Will Smith starred in concussion and didn't get a nomination. And he shouldn't have gotten a nomination. It was a really bad movie. He said, so instead, he decided that he was going to give me a concussion. Chris Vogue just got offered a 40 million Netflix deal. In fact, he is at the top of his game and things are going on so well for him, which I am totally happy for him. You know, Chris Rock has been a very successful comedian and he has tried his best to make comedy or to make fun about everything, which I do believe that is what comedy is all about, right? You make fun about every single thing, about people, about yourself, about the people you like, about the people you dislike. That is what comedy is all about. You making fun about every single thing and every single body. So let's watch this video and hear Ben Shapiro's take about Chris Rock's latest stand-up comedy. Let's watch. So folks, I watched Chris Rock's special last night on Netflix and you're not going to believe what he said. It's kind of amazing. Chris Rock has a brand new Netflix special. It is his first comedy special since the incident in which he made fun of Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith's wife at the Oscars. He made a joke about how she was bald. And this led Will Smith to at first laugh and then glance over, see that Jada was mad and then walk up on stage and smack Chris Rock full across the face while yelling at him to keep her name out of your effing mouth. And Chris Rock took that hit like a man and really said nothing about it for almost a year. Yeah, I think many people have commended Chris Rock for what he did. People are like, he handled that like a grown-up. When Will Smith was being a child, was behaving like a child, Chris Rock actually behaved like a grown-up. When Will Smith spanked Chris Rock on the face, many people would have reacted, but Chris Rock behave calmly and gently and took the the, 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 the the spank like an adult. His behavior on that same day made many people have respect for Chris Rock. And I have to say this, like I have said in, in a previous video, nobody should go out there spanking other people. No matter the situation, there are other ways that issues can be settled. If you are offended, if someone said something that you find offending, there are many other ways you can get this issue resolved. There are many other ways you can get people accountable for what they've done to you. And none of them include physically assaulting somebody. None. No one has the right to go out there assaulting other people, no matter what the people did to them. There is a legal procedure that you can use in case someone did something to you that was very, very offensive. Most people around the world totally condemn Will Smith's behavior and they appreciate Chris Rock for behaving like a real gentleman. So, but let's continue with Ben Shapiro. Well, just before the Oscars, he now has a new Netflix special out in which he breaks his silence on that. And that is a notable headline. We'll get to that in a moment. But the, the most notable thing about, one, uh, about what Chris Rock did is that he has now become just the latest comedian to go full anti-woke. Now, if, as if you believe, as, as my friend and mentor Andrew Breitbart believed that culture is upstream of politics, that what you see in the culture eventually bleeds its way down into how we do politics, then the woke revolution is coming and that right quick 
for a lot of the folks on the woke left. You know, there's one thing with conservatives that I do not understand. When somebody did something that is against certain principles, they automatically assume that that person is against wokeness. If Chris Rock came out and cracked a lot of jokes and made a lot of jokes about many things, comedians are supposed to do that. It's not something new. Now, some people might decide to make jokes about you know, Will Smith or Jada Pinkin Smith or Meghan Markle like Chris Rock did and Prince Harry. You know, They might make jokes about them. People do that all the time. Some people might decide not to do jokes like that, like what Gerald Carmichael did, where he made a jokes about the Golden Globe being a racist organization. So people have different issues that they want to talk about. People want to talk about this, but not that. And I think it's okay. But I think that the conservatives are so quick to claim victory. Like, right now, they are claiming victory over BMA. They are saying that BMA is against wokeness. Yes, there are certain things BMA do not necessarily agree with, but BMA doesn't agree with them. There are many things that Ben Shapiro is against, that BMA is for. There are many things that Ben Shapiro is for that Bima thinks is crazy. I believe that if you ask Chris Rock about certain things that Ben Shapiro believes in, Chris Rock will just call them BS. And like, that is crazy. I don't care. You know? And there are things that Ben Shapiro and Chris Rock will both agree on. So I do not get the point why conservatives are so quick to claim victory, to be like, yes, this person is actually breaking away from this whole, from this workness thing. And this person is now start speaking against workness. And this person is now turning or moving towards us. That might not necessarily be the case, right? There might be another reason why this person is doing what he is doing. Not necessarily coming towards you, not necessarily being a conservative or a Republican, but the person might have his own reasons for doing what he is doing. So I just wanted to clear that up because conservatives are fond of stuff like this. Someone said something that they like, they'd be like, yay, he's on our side. He, are, he is now seeing that the wokeness is getting out of control. I am glad that Chris Walk is back. I am glad that he is doing what he loves to do. I am glad that he is making so much money. The Netflix deal is about 40 million. So kudos to Chris Walk. And I am also happy that he handled the situation with Will Smith in a gentleman way. So for all that, I have nothing but respect for him. But Ben Shapiro's take that Chris Rock is now breaking away from all this wokeness, I really do not believe that. I just think that he wanted to do a certain type of jokes which involve a certain or a category of people and those people maybe happen to be in one particular camp and that was how things unfolded. But let's wait and see the next episode what he is going to talk about or what if he's going to be like, I am totally against wokeness and I am on the conservative side. Let's wait and see that. But to you guys out there, what do you think about this video? Do you think that Chris Rock is now a conservative? Or at least he is going towards that direction 
of the conservatives? And do you see any evidence that he might be done with the so-called wokeness? Let us know in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And also, please do not forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel because little did of good we, like the one you are doing just now, help us a lot and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.